Hi, Soul family. This is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your bi-weekly. This will be from October the 17th through October the 30th. I've already completed fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I've just completed air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Now I'm on to my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, starting with Cancer. And before I get started, let me just say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the emails. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the likes and the dislikes because it's all energy. Thank you for all my new clients who have booked personal readings. I really appreciate that also. Um, this may not resonate with everyone. It may resonate with 5%. It may resonate with 1%. It, res may, it may resonate with half a percent, one or two people. It's a general reading, just who needs to hear it at that time, right? So uh, with that being said, I've already set my intentions, I've already done my prayer. So this is for Cancer, October the 17th through October the 30th. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Cancer. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I'm repeating myself for all of my videos because it's getting cold outside now. <laughs> getting a little chilly down here in the south. Cancer. Not yet wearing a jacket, but it's getting close to that. October the 7th. Cancer, your focus. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. You also have the Tower, Major Arcana. You also have the Two of Wands in the reverse. You also have the Five of Swords in the reverse. You also have the Three of Swords in the reverse. You also have the Queen of Cups. You also have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. All right, Cancer, come on down. Let's see what we have here. Sir, your focus, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Now, in the upright, this is messages coming in, invitations coming in. This is rapid movement. This is, hmm, purpose and quick situations and opportunities, but in the reverse. This is delay. This is hmm, jealousy. This is unsettled and strained relationships with loved ones or in romantic situations. You also have the tower, major arcana. Now with the tower, this is an... This is an uprooting of things that were not built on positive or stable foundations. This is devastation. This is bankruptcy. This is loss of security, loss of relationships, self-deceptions, lies, betrayal things that were possibly 
hidden in the dark. You also have the Two of Wands in the reverse. But in the upright, this is making choices, trying to figure out what is in the best interest of your goals, of yourself, what is going to make you happy? Because as you can see, this person holds the globe of the world in their hands and they have choices and opportunities. But in the reverse, this is failure. This is sorrow. This is stagnation. This is hmm, fear, empty achievements. You also have the five of swords in the reverse. Now the upright, this is empty victories. This is winning at all cost. This is um, standing by yourself <laughs> alone. Yes, you won, but you're by yourself. But in the reverse, this is hmm, still weakness. This is still a little manipulation. This could even be hmm, a little narcissistic in behaviors and emotions. You also have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Now in the upright, this is heartbreak. This is third party situations. This is treachery. This is betrayal. This is separation. In the reverse, this is letting go of confusion and pain. But sometimes this can be staying stuck and stagnant in uncomfortable situations and unsettling behaviors and relationships that no longer serves us. You also have the Queen of Cups. I do believe this is you, Cancer. This is a compassionate, loving queen. This is a, remember this is just pictures on the card. <laughs> this is a mother, this is a father, this is a Wisdom gained through experience, totally devoted to family and close friends. You also have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is knowing of all secrets, all situations. Hmm mysterious, in-depth intuition and instinct, highly spiritually involved. So Cancer, this is you, the Queen of Cups, or the King, a giver, a lover, a nurturer, a supporting mother or father, wife, husband, girlfriend or boyfriend or situationship. But this is you. 
And while I don't see any other major players on the board, I do believe this is also you, Cancer, the High Priestess. I believe that you know when or you figured out that the wool was being pulled over your eyes about a third party situation. Maybe you knew about it and you entered into the situation ship willingly or maybe you didn't know about it, but the high priestess is here. So I'm thinking you or cross watcher wanted to have a a little fun. But Cancer, I don't think you banked on being in a relationship with this narcissist, which is why the tower came into the situation to remove you. because this person was not on your level. So let's see, who do we have on the board? We have air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We have wands, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have cups, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The High Priestess, Cancer, Virgo. And the tower, Aries. Hmm. Cancer, I do believe you got caught up into something. With this narcissist. They saw that you were giving kind, nurturing, stable, handsome, beautiful person. And in the beginning, they sent lots of loving texts and DMs and messages and things of love and opportunities and invitations. But in the end, Cancer, that path led you to heartbreak, deception, despair. And whether you knew it or not, subconsciously you knew that the red flags were there, Cancer. You knew that this person wasn't on your level because you're a queen or a king. You've been around the block. You've experienced relationships before. You know who you were before this person entered your life. You know what a consistent giving and equal take of a relationship. You know what that's about. But with this person, possible air sign or someone who has air in their chart, this person possibly bullied you and conned you and manipulated you and tricked you into giving your time and maybe even your money, Cancer. Maybe you gave this person gifts or paid for their rent or their car notes or you took them on vacations and treated them, but in the end, They left you with this heartbreak. But Cancer, I do believe you're making the choice, even though you're stuck right now. The tower is here so that you can release and start over. That's what a tower is about. It's a rude awakening to things that are not on a firm foundation, things that are not meant for us, things that doesn't serve our better good.
Cervical Cancer. You are the High Priestess. Or the Magician if you're a male. <laughs> or the High Priest. You know what to do about this situation. You've blocked this person. There is no messages. You've cut them off on Facebook. You've cut them off on all the social media platforms. You no longer want this because you know what this person is about. They're a narcissist. They're a taker. They bully you. They con you. They trick you. They make themselves look like a victim so that you are nurture them, support them emotionally and financially. But you know what, Cancer? That's over. That's over. The tower is here for you to release yourself and wake up. It's time for you to build a new foundation with someone that with someone else, someone else. It's time for you to manifest what you know, what a successful person and relationship is. It's time for you to start manifesting true love so that we no longer have to go through this type of situation or heartbreak because you are a king or a queen. You are beautiful, you are handsome, you are courageous, you are amazing, you are strong, you are a smart businesswoman, a smart businessman, you are a mother, you are a father, you're a caretaker of your pets, your parents, you're a teacher, You are an awesome person, Cancer, and you deserve the best. Let's get some words, positive affirmations. I am kind and compassionate to myself and others each day. That's right. You are the queen of cups or the king. You are compassionate to yourself, to others who are deserving of it going forward. You are loving, you are kind, you are a giver. And when you're a giver, you have to be careful because when you're a giver, you attract narcissist people. You attract manipulators. You attract people who can see you and see your kindness, and they take that as a weakness. I am kind and compassionate to myself and others each day. Yep, continue being you, Cancer. Just look out for the red flags. I have the attitude of gratitude for the universal energy that flows effortlessly through me and my life each day, providing limitless abundance and opportunity. Exactly. This is you. The queen, the king. You have the power, you have the energy. You have the ability to manifest what you want. You're looking good, feeling good. Have a little money in the bank or a lot of money in the bank. <laughs> You're abundant. And you have many opportunities. That's why people want to be around you. That's why they want to get some of that energy off of you, whether it's your time or your resources or your money. So you got to be careful of that cancer. 
I have the attitude of gratitude for the universal energy that flows effortlessly through me and my life each day, providing limitless abundance and opportunity. Cancer, this is your reading from October the 17th through October the 30th. Please comment if this resonates with you especially. Also subscribe, like, and share. All my information can be reached or found in the description box below. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another, I love you, soul family. Have a great week.